hello welcome to this video tutorial I will show you how to create a web service from a session bin using NetBeans IDE I will be using the NetBeans IDE 8.08 8.02 .08, we using also Blastfish 4.1 MySQL database here is my database is having one table called person which is having two attributes the ID and the name here I assume that you have already created uh, the connection pool and add the resource to the Glassfish server so let's create our project here java web web application big web service zero zero next next finish So here is our newly created project. Now we add a session bin called my bin. We add the package EGB. We are going to create a stateless session bin. Finish. So we want to create a method that will return a list of person. For that we need to add a business method. To make things short, I have created a simple uh, method for you. Then let's add the packages. Pam, Java, Util, then Java.SQL connection. We are going to import Java.SQL driver manager. Uh, Java.SQL statement. Finally, Java.SQL result set. So so here is our method that is returning a list we create a new list from an array list then here is our gdbc driver then the url username and password then we register our database establish the connection create the statement then we are executing this query here that is selecting everything from person and then for each iteration we are going to add the first attribute and the second attribute to the list and finally we close the connection then here we return our list so our session bin is almost ready so one thing we should do is to add uh, MySQL uh, driver to our project MySQL driver building one existing one here Pam. now let's create our web service from our newly created session bit our web service will be called person service the package here is ws instead of creating the web service from scratch we are going to create from uh, existing session bins here we browse to the location of our session bin our session bin is here okay
pump so as you can see net means has created our web service then you have to build our project in order to test it then deploy it successfully deploy then let us test our newly created web service it's here test pump as you can see this is our business method if you click here you should be able to return here as you can see it's returning one john second suleiman and fourth but congratulations so the first step of our project is done our web service is ready now the next thing you are going to do is to create a client that will consume our web service for that we create a new java application here yeah, java application we call it big web service zero zero client then finish here is our client so what we are going to do is being able to call our web service directly we can just drag our web service and no 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 we go here a new yeah uh at web service client okay here project big web service here is the person service that we want to add and package no finish as you can see netbeans will add directly uh, the web service to our client application now that the web service is added we should be able to we call it so you just come here drag it here bam here is our web service now we just have to go here and create a list equal business method then you have to select list for each luckily java 8 is there for us system dot column column print Length. okay let's build our application then run our data is being fetched from the web service here 
as you can see our data is being retrieved from the web service you have the tree row that i've been retrieved congratulations and see you in the next video tutorial bye